One of the simplest points towards the belief in God is that of Pascal's wager. It goes like, starting premise, God is either real or isn't, by which case you must wager. Point one, if there is no God, it doesn't matter. Point two, if there is a God, it does matter and would be a personal being with superior intelligence who has made themselves knowable. Point three, the only way to, quotations, truly know, is after death, but by then it may be too late, which if that God is good, he punishes and rewards with justice. Final point, better to believe in God than to go with the alternative. This is not one of the most hyper-sophisticated arguments for believing in God, but definitely begs the question. That is to say, that whoever made the world would have had made ways to know he did. And in the case of Christianity, as prophesied in Jewish scriptures, is knowable through Jesus. God is manifest in the flesh, and had came and lived among us, and his word proves itself more and more every day as true. God has given you up till now to find him, and it is by grace through faith in him that a person is saved, not by weekly attendance to a building, or in weird archaic rituals, or paying tithes, or any works required. The only real way to know who provided this free gift is through his words, as this is his message to mankind in love. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2 For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. <laughs>